Top story at noon, police get a break in a hunt for a fugitive. He's accused of wrestling a state trooper to the ground. He's been on the run for weeks and police say he slipped up last night. That's right, Channel 11 Stephen Fisher joins us live at the Allegheny County Jail with more on the mistake that helped catch the fugitive. Stephen. Well, Byron Williams had been on the run from police since late last year, and police, they did consider him to be armed and dangerous, but today he's locked up here behind me at the Allegheny County Jail. 26-year-old Byron Williams was unable to avoid police for a third time. Yesterday, police surrounded a home in Chartiers and watched him as he walked around the corner to clear snow off of his car. The criminal complaint says Williams locked the keys in his car and when struggling to get the door back open, officers walked up and put him in handcuffs. He was found with two bundles of heroin in his possession along with other drugs, but in addition to drug charges, he will likely face assault charges for two prior incidents. Williams was the passenger in a car that was pulled over here near the 12A exit on Route 28. After giving the trooper phony names, things got physical. He got aggressive, told the trooper no, gave some explosives to the trooper. Then he ended up bum, bum rushing the trooper, slamming him against the guardrail. Uh, off camera, they started wrestling alongside 28. You hear him on the MVR tell the trooper, by the way, I have a gun. And two weeks before that, Williams is accused of pulling the same kind of stunt with a Pittsburgh police officer. He had also had an aggravated assault on an officer from two weeks prior to this incident, where it was the same incident type of situation. He ended up getting into a wrestle match with the Pittsburgh officer ended up getting away from him. He had a gun in that situation as well. And Williams, uh, police are rather believe that Williams had those drugs with the intent to sell them. Meanwhile, he should be facing, likely to be facing those additional charges for assaulting those police officers. We're reporting live, Stephen Fisher, Channel 11 News.